Hello friends, welcome to RPA Stuff. In today's video, we are going to learn how to use SOAP Web Services in Automation Anywhere. SOAP stands for Simple Object Access Protocol. It is an XML-based protocol for accessing web services. Both the request send and the response received from the server are in XML format. For this demo, we are going to use the DNE Online Calculator, which supports basic math operations. You can click on each operation to learn more about the request and response format. DNE supports SOAP 1.1 and 1.2 for all operations. Clicking on the service description takes you to the WSDL URI, which will be used in our SOAP Web Services action in Automation Anywhere. Drag and drop the SOAP Web Services action. Copy the WSDL URI from the DNE portal and paste it into the URI section. Now we have to specify a few fields below by finding their values from the web service page. Search for service name. In this example, it is calculator. Similarly find port name, which is Calculator Soap. Select the Soap version. I will keep it as 1.1. This web service provides four different operations. I will be choosing Multiply Operation. Now we have to provide parameters. There are two options, raw and operation. In raw format, we need to mention the parameters in XPath format. I will go with the much simpler operation format. We can get parameter names from the DNE page. In this example, there are two parameters, integer A and integer B. Click on Add Parameter and provide the name and a suitable value for it. There is no authentication or custom header involved in this example. So I will keep it as blank. We can provide an XML file path to store the response from the web service. We will look at the selected response in a later part of the video. Remaining details like SSL certificate are not applicable in this demo. Provide a string variable to store a response from the web service. I will be displaying it using message box. Now let us save and run the bot. You can find our desired output in multiply result note of our response. You can also check XML file we have mentioned in the action to store the response. Now let us learn easier option to fetch SOAP web services details instead of finding each value manually.
provide the WSDL URI in our action and click on Build Soap Request button. This will get you all operations which are available in this service along with parameters they require. Select the desired operation and click on Apply. As you can see, all required details are auto-populated by Automation Anywhere. We only have to edit parameter values to use this action in our bot. Now let us learn to use selected response. We have to provide XPath to extract desired output from complete response. The XPath expression asterisk, local name, equals multiply result, is used to select XML elements with any name, regardless of their namespace, as long as their local name matches multiply result. Here's a breakdown of the expression. Asterisk, this selects any element in the XML document. Local name equals multiply result. This is a predicate that filters the elements selected by the wildcard asterisk symbol. It checks the local name of each element and selects only those whose local name is multiply result. The function local name returns the local part of the element's name, which excludes any namespace prefix. Select XML output as values. Now let us save and run the bot. As you can see, we have our desired output extracted. Thank you for watching. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this.